Hi guys, it's Patricia and today is Tester Tuesday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing because every week we discuss two Scentsy scents and you guys help by picking which ones I'm going to warm and review for the following week. So let's talk votes from last week. We had 158 votes in time and we did get some after the fact that didn't count. It was a very tight race. In first place, it is a white color wax. Here's the, the disc and it's this pretty packaging called Ivy and Water Lily and this had 20% of the vote and with 18% of the vote we have this dark orangey red wax and it was candied pomegranate and the order in case you're interested it was ivy and water lily followed closely by candied pomegranate and then everything was tight we had in third place ocean followed by honeymoon hideaway baked apple pie and at the bottom we had glacial ice which still had 12% of the vote that's crazy for a last place scent so very tight race this week but let's talk about our first place scent this week it is ivy and water lily a beautiful green front and the wax was white now i only had one mini tester but i did have four cubes left of a bar that was outstanding from april of 2017 and that's when this came out it was a scent of the month in april 2017 it would be in the floral category and i would say on cold sniff it was probably about a medium intensity. The scent description is Mandarin zest, rain kissed jasmine, and sheer amber beneath fresh dew drops. So we have Mandarin zest. I don't get any Mandarin or orange or anything like that at all. I get a nice smell though. <laughs> and I, it's coming from the rain kissed jasmine, a very pretty uh, jasmine floral. Very, very floral. But then you get the sheer amber, which gives it a little bit of femininity and prettiness. So mostly I get floral. Some people would say a tiny bit powdery, but very sweet. Um, dewy, yes. I would say if you are going to picture this scent, this is the way I picture this scent. It's a May on a Saturday. It's very early in the morning and there's a wedding. And it's not those kind of weddings that occur late in the afternoon into the evening. Just a small intimate wedding that's occurring early in the morning with just a select group of family and friends. You have a flower girl with a very simple dress. She's picking off white flowers from her bouquet and she's throwing it into a puddle because it just rained fairly recently, uh, maybe overnight. So it still smells like fresh rain and it smells like the white floral petals and the bride walks by and she has a beautiful soft perfume. And that's what the scent is to me. It's like a very soft, pretty perfumey floral with the tiniest bit of powdery but a lot of dewiness and freshness to it i really really like this one now i have warmed it before i warmed four cubes in my open concept layout about three years ago and it was probably i'm gonna say it was seven out of ten back in the day now was it seven out of ten because i was a, a rookie and things maybe my nose picked up as more sensitive back then i don't know was it stronger back then i don't know but when I put it in my warmers this time, I put it in two different spots. I took two of the cubes and put it here in my bedroom. And I didn't do the greatest here in my bedroom. Strength and throw was about 5 out of 10. And I left it going two days, 15 hours, because I was trying to get something out of it because I liked it so much. Now, the good news is I had two more cubes plus this mini warmer. So I put those in my bonus room at the same time. And for some reason in there, I could smell it a little bit better. It's a bigger room. It had a little tiny bit more wax but it was also a 25 watt bulb warmer and I could say it was about six and a half strength and throw. So, and I left it going there a lot longer cause I could smell it there longer. I left it going two days, 25 hours. So yeah, a little bit interesting that it didn't perform as well here in my bedroom. Most scents do very well here in my bedroom. It was a little bit odd, but if you're someone that likes sweet, clean, subtle, um, a little bit perfumey floral, then you'll probably really like this. So some florals turn people off because they're so aggressive. This is softer. So I would stay, say stick to a bedroom, a bathroom, a contained entranceway. It would be really pretty and nice. Would I repurchase this if I had a chance? I think I would, and I would like to try it again and just have it on hand for bathrooms and bedrooms. But um, I just wish I, I wish I could get a little bit more out of the bar. I just wish it performed a little bit better in my house. Would I vote it back and bring back my bar? I would throw a few votes its way for sure. Very, very pretty, gorgeous, love it. Just like the bride, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And that is Ivy and Water Lily. Okay, we're gonna talk about our second place scent this week. It's this orangey red 
colored wax and it is candy pomegranate and I only have a party tester so I didn't use up very many testers this week this was in the fall and winter catalog of 2016 as a new release and it was only in that catalog it never returned I would say this would be in the fruity category and the scent description for candied pomegranate is cinnamon sprinkled pomegranate and candied apple so I know I've told you guys I like cinnamon and I do like cinnamon scents. I just don't really get cinnamon in here. And if it's in there, I feel like it's kind of hidden in, in between the layers. So we have pomegranate, candied apple, and cinnamon. Like I said, I don't really get cinnamon. Pomegranate and candy apple. I would say I get both of them. But let me just describe this to you. <laughs> and this is gonna sound weird, but let's go with it. This is what I get. You're not feeling well. You wanna take a bath. You go to the bathroom and you're laying in the bathtub and you go to start washing your hair and you pick some shampoo. It's in your kid's bathroom and it smells like a candied apple shampoo. And you're like, okay, so then you wash your hair with the candied cha apple shampoo, you get out of the tub, you still don't feel good. You better go get some cough syrup. So you go and get some cough syrup and it's back in the 80s when they had this like cough syrup, it's about this big, has that little picture of like the, the men's washroom man, the little stick man, and they're in different colors. There's like a yellow man, another one's a blue man, a green man, a red man. Okay, for, for some reason, I'm gonna say we're going with the red man cough syrup. If you're old like me, you know what I'm talking about. Then you take that, it's very strong. Woo. And you still don't feel good. So you go and get a shot of some sort of alcohol like gin. <laughs> then you call it a night. That's this scent. It's a very weird scent. I, I don't really, I don't really like it. <laughs> It's very perfumey. There's a bit of that candied apple, which also smells a little bit like pomegranate. The pomegranate also smells like a little bit of cough syrup. And there's a weird tone that reminds me of like some sort of like, like you know, if you were gonna do a shot, that's that's what this is. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever warmed this and I'm probably okay with it being the last time. It wasn't terrible, but definitely didn't win me over. I put it in my son's room. Strength and throw was between five and six. It wasn't very strong, which was I was okay with. I left it going two days, 37 hours, because I could still get whiffs of it when I went in his room just to kind of check it out. But it wasn't a boomer, that's for sure. And it kind of reminded me of Blood Orange Spice in the way that Blood Orange Spice was kind of like a weird combination. Um, this didn't really have spice, but it was just kind of that weird combination. And so this is kind of one of those weird combination scents. And I would probably stick this in a <laughs> garage. <laughs> no, um, somewhere you're not gonna smell it too often. <laughs> Would I repurchase this? No, I'm good. I'm good with candy pomegranate, but I'm really happy that you guys voted for it because I always like trying out new scents. So let's get to drawing for our scents for this week. I'm gonna draw six scents from this box that you can't see. You guys are gonna vote for two different scents by Wednesday morning. I will tally them up and that's what I'm gonna warm the following week. Now, if you can't vote here on YouTube, find me on Instagram and you can vote that way. Scent number one. Coconut flan, or is it flan? Set number two, Ooh. Paradise Punch. Set number three, Gingerbread Donut. Uh, let's go in, we have a single here. Set number four, Orange Amber. Set number five, Oh my gosh, we're getting low. I'm gonna have to reboot it here soon. Scent number five, Apple Crush. And scent number six, Cinnamon Bear. So a very odd combination, but let me read you the scent choices for this week. We have Coconut Flan. That was in the fall, was it fall, winter, spring, and summer back in 2006. 17-ish. It's retired. We have Paradise Punch, a spring and summer scent that you can get right now. We have Gingerbread Donut, a retired fall and winter scent, last available in February. Or was it January? Excuse me. We have Orange Amber, which is an older scent. Yeah, it still smells, so that one I don't have the statistics on. That was way before my time. We have Apple Crush, a former kids scent that's been retired for about two to three years. I would say two years. 
and Cinnamon Bear. This is a fall and winter scent that usually comes back every fall and winter. So there you go. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Don't forget to vote, and I will see you in the next video.